Well, uh, the in in my last year with the seals, I was finishing the year 74, 75. And the guy who was the general manager at the time was Keith McCreary. And he told me they wanted me back. Uh, I would probably be at about the same place as I was the year before, which was either the one of the bottom guys on the California Seals or one of the top guys on the Salt Lake City Golden Eagles. Okay, fine. I was I was a little disappointed with that, but I was prepared to to do it. Uh, but then I got a chance to go to Sweden. Uh, a guy was in here, Tommy Sandlin, his name was, who was the who was a coach in one of the elite level. They had a coaches clinic in town here, and he was presenting something on it. I went over to it. It was at the Ramada Inn out on Pemina Highway, and he told me that Arnie Stromberg was looking for players in Sweden. He had he had a club team there. Arnie Stromberg was had been the coach of the national team. I knew him a little bit, but he was coaching Vestra Ferlunda in the Swedish league. He gave me his number. He says, why don't you give him a call? So I gave him a call and he says, yeah, yeah we, we would love to have you, he says. Because they were afraid in the elite series, they were going to be one of the bottom teams and they didn't want to, you know, how it works in Europe. You, if you're on the bottom, you drop out. If you're on the top of the bottom division, you go up. Well, he wanted to make sure he stayed in the top division. So he hired me and two, uh, two other guys. My brother was one of them. Uh, uh, and I got, they had a guy... Tom Miller from the Detroit organization played defense. So I went over there for a year and I really enjoyed it in Sweden. And uh, and I, I thought at the time when I go over there, I'll try to improve on a couple of things and hope I can get a chance to come back into pro hockey. But it turned out I didn't because I had to, I was on this, still on this grad program at Queen's University and I had to make a commitment to either complete the degree or not complete it. And so I came back to Canada and became a full-time student. Well, I did. During that year, I was a full-time student. That one year, I was working on my thesis, actually. The Winnipeg Jets of the World Hockey Association didn't have a farm team in those days. They, all the World Hockey Association clubs tended to carry 22, 23 guys. They had so many injuries that they picked up me and a guy named Jim Cole from the, the Cash League, and we played two games. And uh, then when Bobby Hull and Anders Hedberg were healthy again, they decided to replace us with Bobby Hull <laughs> and Anders Hedberg. But we made one road trip with the Winnipeg Jets.